Hello guys, Garcia here. This is the beginning of a new playthrough on the channel, Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, Anti-Tribute. So this one is going to be very different from War Games, because obviously War Games is a complete overhaul of the game. So after we finish that one, I still wanted to play Vampire again, but I wanted to play a mod that I haven't played before on the channel. So let's play Anti-Tribute. So Anti-Tribute is one of those mods that it starts slow in terms of changes, but then later on just becomes like a mostly new stuff, you know? So basically we start with the seven clans here that are members of the Sabbat, obviously anti-tribute as you can see here. You can choose a male and female. Every single one of these clans here is going to have a specific discipline that was created or modified for this mod. So Serpentis for uh, Followers of Set, the old clan Shimisi is going to have a unique type of Dominate, I think, or maybe a new type of uh, Animalism. Uh, Nagaraja will have uh, Nihilistics and so on, and Necromancy, which is the also the one that the Giovanni have. We are going to go with the La Sombra. First, because it's the one I, I enjoy the most, the one I, I like the most. And second of all, is because, in my opinion, it's the simplest one. And that is going to matter a lot, you guys will see later on. So, uh, after this initial shock of like choosing a unique clan, different from the other base clans, uh, the changes will start popping up here and there. But the biggest changes, the biggest change that this mod uh, implements in the game is the use of the companion mod. So most of the really strong, either like boss characters or like uh, difficult encounters that you have in the game, you usually will need the, the, at least one companion or, companion or uh, even two, you know? So I usually walk around with uh, two companions basically all the time. So uh, it's going to be very different from war games because the changes will not come all instantly. They will show up little by little. So this mod is, is based on uh, on the base bloodline, so it's not a complete overhaul or, or anything like that, as far as I know. The one catch is that I never finished this mod. The last time I played it, years ago, I stopped playing on Hollywood, because I basically constructed the character wrong. I was having so much trouble during the fights. So basically it was just a mistake, the, the way I built the character. Now I know what I'm doing slightly better. So hopefully everything will go fine here. This mod is way harder than your average mod here. It's way harder than war games and stuff. Because all of the enemies are so overtuned because of the companion mod, you know? So we are going to go with the La Sombra here. By the way, uh, the, so the sound is quite low right now because I actually had to lower the sound. If you are hearing right now this, this sound blaring behind me here <laughs> while I'm speaking here. This, the menu music of this, this mod is atrocious, it's terrible, there's just no <laughs> defending it. Every time you pause the game to like check your, your character sheet or your quest log, the song will play. And this song, bro, is annoying as hell. It's very annoying. So I had to lower it just to introduce the mod here. But then I'll, I'll return the audio to its current uh, the current volume when you start a game, and hopefully the song will not be that uh, annoying. But we'll see. So La Sombra consists of a social Darwinist, priding themselves on strength, elegance, efficiency, and ruthlessness. So the La Sombra consider mortals and other canines alike to be little more than pawns in the nightly jihad. So murder, violence, a lust for blood. Why shun them? Asked the La Sombra. So does the lion weep for the lamb? In contrast to the Shimisi, they do not shun the living, instead tugging at the strings in the hopes of outwitting their hated enemy, the Ventru. So they are kind of a backward story story in a way. So they are closer to the hum to, to humans, but uh, different differently from the Toriadors, the La Sombra are straight up evil, meaning that <laughs> They 100% will use absolutely everybody in sight, you know, and every single human being on the planet is a pawn in their, in their schemes, you know. 
I didn't know that they were enemies uh, of the Ventru. Just learned this like literally right now. All right, so as far as I know, the weaknesses... Uh, oh, oh, I should have <laughs> talked about that. So every single one of these clans has a super powerful discipline uh, that is either a modified version of the base game, one that they would usually have, or is a completely new one. And these disciplines are very, very strong, most of them. There's like one that I don't like all that much, but I'm not going to talk about that right now. And all the other ones are extremely powerful. But every single clan that you get here, you get a massive drawback. So the drawback for... not a massive, but you get a drawback. For example, the Nagaraja, you have to actually feed uh, the character meat too. Otherwise, they start... Uh, basically, they start dying because they also need to... Not only they, they need blood, they also need uh, human meat, you know? Uh, every single one of these... The Samadhi is pretty obvious. They are basically even er uglier <laughs> Nosferatu. So have, they have the same problems that the Nosferatu have, right? So each and every one of these has a, a downside. La so the La Sombra's downside here is actually the most tame of all of them, but it can be annoying too. So the downside is... Uh, the La Sombra doesn't cast any reflection on any surface, which is like the basic, like traditional cinematic vampire. What that does is that you can break the masquerade by doing nothing, just being in the, at the wrong place at the wrong time, and your reflection just doesn't show up somewhere, you know. And also, they are constantly uh, hunted by vampire hunters from the Society of Leopold, you know. I don't know if they are members, but you know what I mean. So they spawn in specific spots in Santa Monica, uh, in downtown Hollywood, and so on. So I'll have to basically fight on these open spaces with, with a certain frequency, especially after I get my couple of buddies, my companions, because then they will start basically fighting on their own if they see the, the hunters, so I won't be able to avoid the combat, you know? But compared to the other ones, this is the most chill one. And the second reason to... Actually, there are three reasons to get the La Sombra here. First one is the easiest one to deal with. Second one has the coolest discipline of all the, the new ones, in my opinion, which is Obtenebration here. It's very difficult to explain what this does. But this is going to be a mid-game, late-game uh, goal for us. We are not going to deal with this right now at all. The, the first goal that we are going to have on the game is to raise potence to 5. It's basically vital, it's mandatory. If you have you are playing with a ranged character, you should like raise aspects to 5 or, or maybe presence and so on. Because definitely you are going to need it, you know? Oh, I didn't know the music stopped. <laughs> stopped, that's awesome. So, uh, that's the first assignment. So, uh, that's the basically the, the third reason why I wanted the La Sombra 2. Is that not only has all tenebration, but it also has uh, potence. I played war games with a ranged character, so now I want to play with a melee character. And potence obviously is a must. And what else? Well, there's a lot of, of stuff that I need to explain, but we will start playing already. And then uh, as things, as changes, uh, show up in the game, I will be explaining them. So I never finished this mod as I explained. So we'll see if everything can go well here, but we'll... I should have thought about this before. Also, this there's a very interesting uh, thing with the blood buff in this mod. So blood buff Usually, in the base game, gives you plus two in strength, dexterity, and stamina. Also, all the physical attribu attributes, right? In this mod, they, it actually gives you three. So, it's very, very powerful. So, you can basically open stuff, like, right away in, uh, at the beginning of the game. Because the point of this mod is actually not to be, like, a subterfuge-based mod, you know? It's way more based in... way more combat-based, you know? Okay, so this is the, our primary build here. 
So a bunch in dexterity, so we are going to have luck picking seven from the start, which is amazing. Uh, charisma, because yes. Uh, scholarship, it's a shame that we only have one point here. I usually have a... When playing this mod, I have trouble with a computer, depending on the character that I pick. You guys will see the books in this mod are actually all over the place. So they are in different spots, basically. So you cannot plan your character like you're playing base bloodlines because you might be disappointed. You are not going to find the correct books and stuff, you know? Okay, so that's it. So let's keep the intro here. So I could totally just like play it by myself the tutorial to just start in Santa Monica. The thing is the tutorial already has some differences. So because of that, I decided to play the tutorial here too. So Blood Heal, Potence, and uh, Blood Buff. Okay, now let me reestablish the, the audio here. I think here should be fine. So check out the, the, the music from the menu. It just like, it invades your, your brain cells and it like permeates everything that you do in the game. Sometimes you don't want to even open the quest log just to like avoid hearing the music <laughs> because it's so annoying, especially when you're trying to read the quest to understand what you're doing. So that's why I had to lower the sound here. But I'm not going to open like the, the menu all the time, I don't think. So should be fine. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Jack. All right, let's keep this. Everybody has heard this dialogue 10,000 times. So I'm going to explain to you guys how we are going to proceed in terms of dialogue here. I'm going to use the same uh, method that I used for my first Clan Quest mod uh, playthrough, which is basically we are going to listen only to dialogues that I like. Basically, I'm not going to listen to everything, and I'm also not going to skip everything. So. Sometimes we will listen to them, other times we won't. So as you can see, the first character we are feeding on already is different from the base game. There's going to be a lot of different models uh, in this game. Or in this version of the game. Oh, I should have checked this too. Let me raise the sensitivity just a little bit. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Like sharp. Okay. Well, now. Okay, now. You get inside here and head upstairs. Meet up with them. So they can see what the ruckus is. Sure. Okay. So, guys, we'll see in the cutscene with uh, the sheriff right away. There's going to be different models and stuff. Alright, oh, Jesus. I Oh, I forgot to say this. I would like to apologize because this was supposed to come out like, I don't know, Tuesday? But I've been so sick this last week. Uh, this last week. I am... Uh, just checking. So I, I am... I've been having... Basically, down here. Stay pains in my body and pretty strong fever and stuff since uh, Friday. No time. So I haven't been able to record a whole lot. So as you can see, the <laughs> the glasses. Sounds different too, obviously. Alright. So it has been very hard to 
sit down for like an hour to record anything because the back is in pain and so on, you know? So hopefully by next week I'll be close to 100%. I don't know what I got by the way. I've never had COVID so I don't think that's it because I didn't have any problem breathing or coughs and things of that nature. Could be dengue which is a, a, a tropical disease here from South America that is transmitted by a mosquito, you know? Ah, uh, short. Cool. It's the same. It's also why you keep part at party. All right. You do what you so look around. Okay. Uh, chop shop. Sure. So there's straight up uh, some oh chip <laughs> chop chop. There are some enemies in this game that you basically cannot fight without a companion. The first one that's really hard, and I do remember to this day because it was so hard back in the day, and it was so surprising that ended up being her. The hardest one there we go. that I tried to fight without a companion. And then I gave up and then I decided to actually get the companions. I was trying to play the game without using the companion mod because I don't love it all that much. But the first one that actually gave me trouble was a Jezebel. <laughs> Jezebel. This absolutely destroyed me. She uses uh, presence. And she also fights from a distance, and also she fights melee. Fucking waste so man. she's very annoying. Now, remember what I said: an innocent, the beast. I, I, the only. All right now. So basically, the main point of the game is to have these companions, right? The companions are basically the base characters, so you can walk around with uh, threes. Uh, Jeanette, uh, Knox, Bertram, Damsel, all these people, you know? V. And there's like a... almost like a game-long quest for a gargoyle, which is a... the... I think is the best companion in the game. The gargoyle is extremely strong. He's like a truck. The gargoyle basically is the alien, the <laughs> the character from the movies. Keep it down. Not too much. It's very difficult to explain, but you guys will see right, when cool. we see the model. Okay. I'm actually very pumped to play this because as I told you guys I never finished and also I never even like explored like half of like Hollywood for example so there's a lot of new stuff that I have never checked of all the big ones this is the, the only one that I, I never finished I think Keep it quiet they're inside the Sabat, you see I was probably just turned and beaten over the head yeah Go get him. I wish I could like make the game louder for the dialogues without making the rest louder because I have to keep the, the sound lower because of the, the menu song. <laughs> it's very annoying. Like, we're going to see here that this guy has a lot of health. That is basically the case for every single enemy in this game. Or this version of the game. Every single enemy is going to have two, three, four times more health because we're supposed to fight with the companions. Not that much in Santa Monica, but from downtown onwards, you know. That's that. Sounds like you got another pack moving in, though. The Sabat are going all out. Better head underground, avoid straight bull. Go get the tire iron that shovel head dropped. He ain't gonna need it. Oh, I see. I didn't get the, the weapon. See? The water pipe. 
So let's check. Is that good? Yeah. No. Punching is better. All right, head down into the basement through the grate in there. Keep that tire iron handy. Okay. I'll be there in a minute. So you might be asking yourself, how do I get the companions? Do I have to convince them to like be my servants or something? There's actually two ways to do it. Let me just do this part here and I'll explain. As far as I know, could be more, right? Because I never completed the mod, so I'm not sure. <laughs> the good old crosshairs at the ankles. Not sure what's going on. Sounds like the sabots getting scattered. I'm gonna keep an ear to the ground. Be careful going forward here. Could be a whole mess of them hold up. Okay. All right, so now we need to test the new disciplines. Well, I actually don't need to use anything here. I already have four lock picking. I would say La Sombra is the best one to start in anti tribute just because you start with high dexterity, high defense, and also Optin Abrasion is the easy, one of the easiest ones to use. Hey, stop, man! Ah. I didn't even pay attention to which discipline I needed to use there. The game's probably going to force me to do it again. Or not? I think they're clear. Meet you there. Alright, let me pay attention. This one I need potents, sure. Potence is amazing in this one because it allows you to feed quite easily, right? And this is going to be way more necessary in this one than in any other one. Oh, also, uh, La Sombra has the the first level of domination, which is amazing. Uh, well, I'm trying to uh, feed here; it's not working for some reason. Freeze, motherfucker! Whatever. I think I should have probably need to use uh, like uh, Optin Abrasion on the first one, but I didn't pay attention, so I don't, I'm not sure. Right now with Optin Abrasion, the only thing that I can do here is summon a shadow, but that's about it. It doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, so uh, one of the good things about this mod is that it fixes the the firearms problem, so to speak. So as you can see, I have firearms literally zero, but I can already... use the, the best crosshairs possible, I guess. Which would require like 3-4 points in firearms in the base game. So basically the idea here is to basically fix the combat system so pretty early on you'll be able to to hit the shots. Because the problem uh, the problems that you have to deal with in this mod are not related to like, oh, I need to improve the skill. So eventually I'll be really good at it in the late game and so on. In this case it's more a case of like I need to be good at this thing right away. Because the challenges will only get harder and harder. So it doesn't matter if you're like... Damn it. Uh, here. Hopefully this is good. And uh, switch blade is terrible. Golf club. Is that better? Oh, I did a, a different move there. Oh, I see. I should just go with potence here. 
Potence basically every time guarantees that you can feed. If you have Potence 5, which is what we are gunning for in the beginning here, that means that you can basically feed on anybody in any situation, including in the middle of combat, you know? It's really, really good. I haven't saved in a while. That's it, kiddo. Just like okay. Oh, another thing. You have noticed, if you have noticed, I got three points instead of two. It's because most quests in this mod give you gives you at least one or two more points, XP points, than they usually give you in the base game. Until the next night. Well, to now. If you make it back, stop in at the last round. It's just bar downtown here. I'll fill you in on the politics. <laughs> now that's the stuff that'll kill you. <laughs> Good luck. There you go. Alright, so the books will be in different places, I'm pretty sure. And the reason why we get this much XP because for the most part you have the artifacts in this in this mod too but most of them are pretty much useless as far as i remember but i didn't get any from like chinatown or something so i'm not sure but as far as i remember all the ones i got i didn't use because they come with uh, downsides just like the, cl the, the classes <laughs> just like the clans so basically, oh, you have this that gives you plus two in something, but gives you minus one in something else, you know? So you end, you end up basically not using them. Okay. Sunrise. Sure. All right. So, uh, email. Oh, I almost used the... The main problem that we're going to have here in Santa Monica is going to be hacking. We are really in a rough spot. Because... Oh, sorry. Delete. Okay. So the reason why I'm just rushing through the, the emails here is because right now I'm pretty sure there's no, like, huge changes in the beginning here. But pretty sure they will be start becoming pretty pretty obvious. Other than the most obvious one right now is the fact that we are a La Sombra, you know. Okay. So that's the uniqueness of the anti tribute because in the Clan Quest mod you just have the chapter, the Sabbat chapter, and you have Sabbat endings and things of that nature. But in anti tribute you are Sabbat right away, you know. You are born in the Sabbat. Okay, so let's check. Carnival of Death. Sure. Alright, I'm pretty sure I can open both of these doors here. Yeah. <laughs> Plus three. So I can open this one. Let's open this one real quick. Alright, I guess the idea for like the reasoning behind Blood Heal being so powerful is probably to allow you to use during combat. That said, just feels like a horrible idea. <laughs> it just doesn't work. So as you can see, there's no book here. Usually the stealth book is here, if I'm not mistaken. So we gotta watch. Got nothing here. Okay. So I know that they are in different places. I have no idea where they are. <laughs> I just know that they are in different spots. And I, I'm only going to remember stuff until Hollywood. After that, I have no idea. So we'll basically find out together here. All right. Nothing here. Jesus, what the hell? I don't I didn't remember this. <laughs> Oh, really? Free axe? Oh, raw human flesh. So this is what you, I think, is what you need to, to give your Nagaraja 
for it to be able to survive, you need to give these pieces of raw flesh. Oh, we are getting a bunch of good items here. No books, but hey. So is the axe good? I hope so. We are literally getting it like the beginning of the game. Well, it was better than everything that we have, but obviously the feet adjustment is going to be insane. There you go. Okay. So I always feel way more comfortable playing melee. So I played uncomfortably war games the, the entire time. Because I really don't like uh, ranged combat. Wait, did I check everything? I think so. Can I get something else here? All right. Nothing in the mail. So I'm really glad that this time around we'll be able to play it in melee range. You got, you got some change, mister? Uh... Oh, as you can see, you may be of use, you will serve me human. I can get this guy as a companion right away, but I'm not going to. Here's not much, there you go. Very nice. Thank you. you can have it, I don't care. Five is not going to make or break here. I don't know if you get money, meaning in good quantities in this mod. But since I'm playing with a melee character, I don't need to worry about it. Which is one of the perks when you're playing a melee dude or lady. <laughs> and my voice is already going, I apologize. Let me drink some water real quick here. How much persuasion do I have? Three. So I don't see any point talking to this guy yet. Usually it's four, the amount you need to. get some money from him so I have to walk up to several NPCs here to see if they give me some different quests or something okay so let's save before talking to good old trip here oh uh, hey yeah uh. How's it going? So let me see here. Uh, what's your name? They call me Trip. Nice to meet you. Thanks. You? Yes. It's not a big surprise. Drifters. Beats me. Santa Monica is <laughs> dead. I don't know why anyone comes out here anymore. Yeah. All right. Here's what we got today. So in this mod, you can use this shoulder pad here. Uh. Increases bashing and lethal soak, but at the same time reduces appearance So you take a hit in the appearance department, but you it's basically It's an armor that you can use on top of the clothing So it's basically an extra layer of protection But we're not going to buy one because we can get one early. I'm pretty sure. Thanks for coming back. What you uh, Do you sell weapons? Um, no uh, I'm not convinced you know, you really don't seem the criminal and or undercover cop type. Oh, I am trustworthy? Well, okay. Hey, it's cool. I'm overstocked anyhow. Take a look and feel free to come back anytime. There you go. So I think I needed four persuasion there. But we were able to get it anyway. Oh, Jason Voorhees, huh? Yeah, but we don't need this. Actually, let me sell some stuff here. Thanks. Right away. Alright, here's what we got today. Because the enemies are going to drop these a lot, and I'm not going to use any of them anyway, so might as well just get some extra money. Obviously, I'm going to keep the axe. So the main quest that is like like different, especially like from the early going that you can already get here in Santa Monica is the quest for the the gargoyle which is the unique companion that the mod gives you need something pal 
Uh, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man. Okay, I'm looking for someone. Oh, man. All right. Let's say I am. Hell yeah. All right, let's I'm a ghoul. Be, be careful here with the, the options. Uh, I was in the heart, went to the world of vampires. Nope. My new boss has set me up. There you go. You're a ghoul. Well, the way it was explained to me. When it... Okay. Who was a vampire? Oh, man. You like being a ghoul. It's awesome. Man, after that. Okay. Uh, so what are you doing? Look. Uh, see you around. Okay. Let's not mistreat the guy. He's going to be our first companion. So. I should explain this before we proceed here. So there's, as far as I know, like three ways or two ways to make a, a character your companion. You either dominate them if they are like a human. You either convince them by persuasion to become a follower, not, not a follower, but a, a companion. Or you can uh, use an item that is available on the game that you need to get, don't, that, you need, <laughs> that you can get only after, not after, you can get it on the mansion of Dr. Grout, the Malkavian Primogen. So basically the middle, middle-ish portion of downtown. With that, you can convince basically anybody with the, the it's called the Animus Constupro, if I'm not mistaken, or you guys would pronounce like the Animus Constupro right so there's some guys that you can convince just by talking to them and there are some other guys that you can you need to use the animus so it depends there's no uh, drug quest for a trip in this mod by the way Alright, so you don't have the astrolite. How do I get there? Uh, how do I get it back? Is there something I could do to help you? I already have some. Hold still. There you go. Alright, so we got the astrolite quest. I needed that because of the, of the humanity gain here. So the only quest that we are going to have in the hospital will be the werewolf blood quest and the quest for E. The quest for Mercury is already done and the quest for Trip doesn't exist in this mod. So remember that I'm being very careful here because I've been talking the whole time but I'm being paying attention to the, my, my surroundings here. Because there's a hunter in Santa Monica when you're playing with a La Sombra. So I need to be very careful. Well, I need to check this inside part here anyway, so let's just do it. I need to check basically every car here, just in case. One of them has like a, an open trunk or something. Well, this is the one for the quest. I've seen a lot of shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your face. I'll go to the beach pretty soon. I'm pretty sure some car models are different too. In terms of looks, this mod changes a lot of stuff. So even quests that are exactly the same, they feel slightly different just because the NPCs look different, you know? Okay, so, so far no hunter. I'm pretty sure this this voice actor is also the one that uh, calls Deb several times in the radio show. He 
came back for, for the new bloodline. Several of them came back, right? I remember seeing a, a trailer once a while ago that had the, the lady that voiced Damsel. She returned too. Up there. Those men never mind. I'm pretty sure I don't need to talk to her for like any reason. There's no quests connected to her. Alright, so I have five here. So I'm going to put one in scholarship. Just to be able to fool the guy here. I think four is enough. Four is a lot this early. Um uh Who doesn't? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Absolutely, but only if he's killed with the holy stake. Okay. But first I had another question. Sure. How about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? Uh, sure. If it's unicorn blood. Unicorn blood? Well, there can be vampires, but no such thing as unicorns. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. I'm gonna go get some money. Um, come back in a little while. Sure. Hello, E. Listen, it's like I've told you talks about a <laughs> Very shaky. I should try. Be my guest. I should try. Uh. You mean you ain't here? No. Nope. We're getting pretty. Don't know. Clan. I okay. just come. She had a net. She tried clinically. That's what Lily. I. I hope you had better luck than I did. Look at the ocean. Be my get. Uh, any idea where I might start looking for information? Sure. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Yeah, I, need, I needed this information to get the, the her, her stuff back in the, at the diner. I think. It's kind of difficult because there's no universal way that certain quests are resolved when you are playing with mods because for example this anti-tribute mod here is pretty I'm look I'm checking the ground for new items by the way for example this anti-tribute mod is pretty old I think it's like a like a decade old so it's way older than more games for example so naturally you is using older versions of the unofficial patch which means that certain dialogue lines and, and certain methods available to solve certain quests are, si are simply not available here. Cop, okay. Some gaming. So this is a great example. Usually in the more recent versions of modded bloodlines You would get that bubble bum. I think is, is the name That's like laying on the floor here somewhere, but I don't think it exists in this mod here. Oh There's also no car here, I guess Okay I think I can go to the beach house right away because I only need to talk to Arthur and I need to go to the asylum. Okay. Luckily, I already have a pretty decent weapon. That might carry through the entirety of, might carry me through the entirety of the quests here in Santa Monica. I don't remember this in the base game, by the way. Help you? Uh, relax. I'm I'm here to buy. You know from you know who. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my chill, I remember that. So that's the one I was talking about, the one that will give me the, the free shoulder pad. Yeah. Just 
going to use a bunch of potions here. Got the shoulder pad, okay. Now we need to very thoroughly check the place here because I have no idea where the, the items are. Yeah, with potents, these guys are no trouble. But there's a bunch of quests that become just nightmares, this mod. I think it's doable. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a... Oh, there's really a book here. Point and click. How not to shoot yourself in the elbow. So we have a firearms book, like, right away. That's cool, but we won't be using firearms for a while, so I'm not going to use it yet. Because usually you can put one point in firearms and then use the book. So I'll just keep it on my inventory for now. Such a random place for a book. But technically speaking, it makes sense. A lot of people like to read in the bathroom, right? I like to watch videos actually. Okay. All specs will be awesome here just to see the place better. Okay. Alright, got his money back. The astrolite. As you can see, I'm getting a lot of XP. <laughs> like a crazy amount. Okay. Let's get all the weapons. I don't think there would be like two books here. So I'm not going to worry about that all that much here. Wait. It's probably not going to work. I have hacking <laughs> one. Not good. Usually there's a dog outside here. That might be only on like clan quest, I guess. Oh, I see. It was already on. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so we got the shoulder pad. Let me show you guys the shoulder pad real quick here. Uh, sorry. Here. So the shoulder pad is actually... It's not a, an armor item. So it doesn't show up here. It shows up here. So with the shoulder pad, you get extra bashing and lethal, as you can see. So it's very, very, very strong. And you don't pay anything for it, you just put it on. And I think basically less for the, the rest of the game, but your character will always look goofy. Like you are going to play some like American football somewhere. Or you are cosplaying and as a player, you know? But that's why you take one hit to your appearance. But we won't be using that anyway, so it's fine. Oh yeah, let me see if I can sell all this stuff to the guy. You have any of those items you mentioned? Uh, uh here's the steak. Yeah, here you go. Damn, I did the, the wrong order. That's why I saved. So I need to sell him the the blood first. You have any of? Uh, I'll buy. I'll give you two bags. As soon as I have three bags, I should have enough to become human again. You have any of? Oh, the... I see. Uh, I'll. I think I have enough for the. 
Yeah. Here you. His name is Rodriguez. You won't look have for him? to live like this anymore. I'm going to kill the head vampire. That quest, this quest here, has always had a problem. Even in clan quests, they kind of fix this quest, so the quest actually shows up in your quest log. But even still, this quest still has a problem, which is your your the answers that your character gives are impossible for him to know, you know. So there's no way he knows uh, exactly who's nines because the only time that he met any of these people like Lacroix and nines and stuff is in the courtroom so I don't think he would know like all the names and stuff or the fact that like Lacroix is the leader of the Camarilla and nines oh the hunter are you guys seeing this Or that Nines is the leader of the Anarchs and so on. So we are going to have to be stealthy randomly sometimes in the, the hubs just because we need to avoid fighting these guys for now. We can take them, you know, it's not like they are like incredibly hard or anything like that. But if we can avoid two, it would be great. Because we don't gain any XP by killing them anyway. So there's just no reason, you know? Hello, LA. You're a great passer bedtime. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. Okay. Oh, there's a cop here. I see. Arthur. Alright, so let's check everything just in case. Uh, behind. No. Okay. Got the first shot oh, uh, so, Mr. T, Mr. T presents Pity That Fool. That's very old school, Mr. T. Raises your intimidation skill. Eh. Sure, I guess. Not something I usually use. Okay, so let's talk to good old Arthur here. Welcome to Kilpatrick. Yep, sure. I got a Well, my hell yeah. Of course. You. Yep. Well, great. great. Sure, Pat. Okay, so we got the quest. I don't remember if Gimbal is actually strong. Now that I think of it. I hope not, because I don't want to get any early companions. So basically what happens when you get a companion, you can walk around with them, you can then send them back to your haven, so you can have a big number of companions, you can have like 5, 6, 7, something like that, but you can only walk around with uh, 2. The main problem with the companion stuff in the game is that it kind of, how should I say this, removes the nativity of some of these characters. So the moment that they become your companions is kind of over. The character is kind of gone from the game, you know. You have a command to send them back to where you found them. So you can basically, for example, if I get uh, Therese here after her quest as a companion and I keep using her all the way until like Hollywood for example and then I want to switch I can send her back here to the place I found her theoretically the dialogue should be fine everybody's getting stuck at, in that place if you, if you notice because of the hunter uh, so Theoretically, you can do that with like, uh, for example, Bertram, because Bertram, I'm pretty sure you can get him pretty early too, after the the warehouse quest. But if you guys remember, he is also connected to a quest that happens in Hollywood, actually. So I'm not sure if I can actually bring him back to the 
his original position to get that quest or if at the moment that I get the guy his quest is unavailable for the rest of the game you know so that's why I will only be getting companions that I know that they don't have any more role left to play in the game you know so Nox is a great example the, mo the moment you leave Santa Monica Nox is pointless and also uh, Therese and Jeanette, same thing. If you finish their quest line, obviously you can just uh, transform them into a companion. But for them, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to use the Animus, which means that for a good while we are not going to have any companions, but that's fine. Most of the quests are not going to give us a whole lot of trouble, except the warehouse. The warehouse is going to be a gigantic pain in the ass. Because it's one of those quests that is already geared towards a person that's using companions, you know? And we are not going to have the companions. Now, we have a secondary problem, but this is a YouTube problem here. This obviously is a modded version of uh, Bloodlines. Which means that every single place here uh, that has a unique song... For example, the Asylum or Venus's establishment in downtown and so on. All of them will have different music. And YouTube doesn't like some of those, some of that, those uh, pieces of music. So I might get a strike. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to save here. I'm going to enter and do everything normally. But if you guys watching this don't hear anything, it's because I muted the entire sound when I was here in this establishment and I'll probably have to do that in other establishments as well otherwise the YouTube will take down the video because uh, certain music is going to be copyrighted you know I didn't have this problem with war games because most of the music used in war games the new ones are allowed to be used on YouTube so it's fine but I'm not sure about these that we're going to listen. So if if at, after I enter here, if everything gets muted, that's why it's not a problem with the video or anything like that. So I'm I'm trying to not I'm not going to uh, overextend myself here inside. Just going to do what I need to do and then leave. I think the hunter is on the other side, if I'm not mistaken. Well, let's take a gamble here. Okay, seems to be fine. All right, so let's just enter. So hopefully I won't need to mute this, but we'll see. Ooh, what do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club. Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? Uh, no. Uh, who are you? I'm the finger down your... Aren't you a tease? So, got a name I can remember you by? I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. <sighs> I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. Okay, so soon can come enough, uh, soon enough, goodbye. So basically, I'm choosing the kiss your ass route here to be able to unify the ladies later. I'll probably need an extra persuasion point to do that. Alright, so let's just walk around real quick just to see if we have a new item or something. I find it hard to believe, so... Nothing here... Damn, come on! <laughs> Just because I wanted to check... The lights switched... Okay, we're good. Is this guy quest giver? No? Nope. This different header model. So I'm not sure if I had to censor the, the audio there, but if that happened, 
that's basically what we are going to have to do in just a few places, not a, like a lot of places. I need to get the information about Lily. Don't ever speak to me. Sure. Don't ever speak to me you know again. Do you understand? Well, this is clearly another place that I might need to mute. I don't know if YouTube likes the song. So that's the first new character that we met here. There's a very gothic version of this guy here. What'll it be? Um the helping. Yes. You know, at least the last helping you. Alright, I got the money. What'll it be? Is Albino girl. Pale thin blood. Oh that yeah, she looked. Thank you. There you go. So every place that has this unique uh, types of music here, I'm going to try to avoid spending too much time in them. Okay, so we already have seven. Alright, so let me check all the quests we got here. Mercurio, okay. Bounty Hunter, Thin Blood, Surf's Up. Okay, so Lily, yeah, so let me deliver the quest. I'm pretty sure the hunter only spawns on this side of the city, so I don't be, need to be that careful on the other side here. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy, let's see if I can get some money. Uh. <clears throat> Nothing. None. Oh, I completely understand. Thank you. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. I wouldn't be surprised if in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening. Come on, this is a very nice neighborhood. Uh, there you go, the astrolite. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Yes. Good. Great. Painful. Did you get my money back? Sure. Ah, uh, your lifesaver. I might. You need to make some. Warehouse. Uh, sure. Tongues laying. Low. You want to? She. Ain't... She's the. She. Ain't... Okay. Already looping here. Okay. So now let's check Carson's apartment here. And uh, usually there's a ring here somewhere. Right? Oh, oh, it's on the floor. I see. Okay. Gun, money, key. Uh, what's the name? I forgot. Emalia. Uh, McGee. Come on. Emalia. <laughs> there you go. Uh, location. Tattoo parlor, sure. Check, check. Is this thing recording? God, I hate these things. Uh, anyway, the uh, McGee mm. case is getting weirder all the time. I found where he's been hiding and I saw some really creepy Can stuff. Can I open this? Oh, interesting. I just noticed it's not Elysium here, which means I can probably probably already open this if I use blood buff. Yeah, there you go. Videotape, sure. The way of the fisting, sure. Brawl skill. Okay, so so far we have been getting some. Terrible books, my god. No joke. Okay, bounty hunter. Oh yeah, I need to go back home. I need to get the quest for the werewolf blood before I go into the hospital. So 
let's go to the parlor first. Then let's go back home. Actually, I need to, f to feed now. Oh, I completely understand. Here, uh, take a few bucks. Think nothing of it. Oh, the I guy's still talking. If in this neighborhood you were pickpocketed. Anyhow, good evening, and uh, do be careful. I will. Samantha? Okay. I should have tested the, the, the music. <laughs> but I, I didn't remember the fact that there would be new music way too late. Oh, this place is way darker now. Something here, no. What's that? Nothing? Nothing? Watch. So, hey Eddie, yesterday the cargo from France came in. It's one damn ugly statue, so deal with it. The Venus woman ordered it, ordered it as decoration for her new gothic club downtown. Oh, and I forgot some brain sick guy from Gimbal's Prosthetics <laughs> also wanted to buy it. What a moron! Oh, so this is the the gargoyle quest, I think. Uh, where is the damn key? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. L which is the, the key to open the quest log, I think, in the base game. Doesn't work in this game. You actually need to press P to open the, the damn log. So this is the quest, it's called Stonecutter. Seems there's something unusual in the mysterious Gimbal's prosthetics place. So we're gonna go there. We have to go there anyway. Oh, chill. Yeah, some rough stuff happening here. Lady's dead. Oh, there was some flash here. Okay. Um. So as you can see, not only in the apartments, but also here we are getting some Hello. very My horrific vibes here. Mr. Well, I sure. Well, boy, I'm at the All right. Oh, probably should have looked behind here. So several quests will have this like almost like borderline horror vibe to them. This will happen in the at the Ocean House Hotel too, as far as I remember. Hey man. So let me guess the werewolf quest. I apologize by my voice because of my voice, uh, but <laughs> really I cannot control it right now. It's really the entire body lately has been failing to be honest. Oh yeah, so pretty sure. Yeah, I can already get it, yes. Okay, so we already have ten. I'm already going to put ten on potents. This is the priority number one here. So, as I told you guys, the priority number one is going to be com to complete potence first. That said, we're going to have a lot of trouble with any quest that requires any sort of hacking. That said, the only quest, as far as I know, that requires hacking in the entire game, oh, in the entire game, sorry, in the entirety of Santa Monica here is the one in the hospital. So if we can actually get some extra points to put on, probably I only need one, 
maybe two is already enough. As you can see, uh, intelligence is actually the one that gives me research and hacking. And scholarship. Oh, scholarship also gives me research. Good to know. Okay. So, in the next episode, we are going to go to the hospital to do the, the, the two basic hospital quests. Oh, a bail bond. I forgot about that. Damn. So, I'm going to just leave the character there. I completely forgot about that. It would be funny to go to the hospital and I'm like, where is Lily? And I didn't do the rest of the quest. I've done that many, many, many times before. So probably we'll be doing all the quests here in Santa Monica in the next episode. Other than probably the warehouse because that might take longer. But we'll probably we'll be going to the ocean house. Alright, so now first I need to locate the, the hunter. Is that it? No. Oh, I see. I think that's him. Yeah. So basically every time you need to check. In Hollywood it's also complicated because it's just one big street, right? But I think in downtown the hunter is not going to be like a huge problem because the, the street is so huge. Okay. Alright guys, so we'll continue it in the next episode, so I apologize for my voice, first and foremost. I also apologize for not be, have been, uh, like being able to post as frequently as I could have been, but I'm, I, have, I have been really, really sick. I'm all over the place, I'm having a lot of trouble speaking and concentrating on anything, so I apologize. So we'll continue on the next episode and hopefully eventually we'll start getting uh, the companions. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.